Hello everyone. Wow, this lighting is... Okay, hello. My name's Emily and I'm gonna take you through everything I did, ate, and where I stayed in Door County. We went for a short little weekend. So if you're looking to go there, let's get into it without further ado. Okay, we're gonna first start off with a little tour of our Airbnb. I forgot to do this when we first got here, so it's not as cute and clean, so forgive me, but we had this nice little two bed, two bath. This is a living room, so spacious, so much natural lighting, love that, and a couple little balconies. We had two, oh my gosh. Kitchen was huge, so much counter space. This was the first bedroom, and it had a bathroom connected, hello guys so nice and then this was the second bedroom also so spacious i think these are queen king beds i don't know so we got there on day one saturday where we actually stopped by cave point county park beforehand i forgot to include a clip i'll include some pictures here but we walked around in sister bay where we were staying looked at the boats and then we checked out the sunset at Ellison Bluff where I got so many pictures and got to try out my new camera in the wild. And it was so much fun. Right, for day two we started the morning off i went on a little run and then we grabbed coffee at skipstone it's a super cute little coffee shop they had so many really great options we spoiler alert went and ended up going there three days in a row it was that good i got a hazelnut latte and my mom got a matcha we then went to bailey harbor's farmer's market this was so cute and a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be and they had little alpacas and this was the hall. We got some freeze-dried candy, pie, and this little wall feature that's actually up in my office now. We went to a smokehouse, got some fish, and then we went to a lighthouse that we had to cross this little path to get to. If the tide is higher, you have to take this like tractor. And then we went on top of the lighthouse. I mostly went for the views, and this is kind of what you can see from the top. It was a little bit windy, so we were definitely staying close against the lighthouse. And this is the view from the other side. This was the light inside. My dad and Bobby were really mad at me because I did not read any of the history and I was like, oh, this just looks cool. And this is the view from the top inside of the lighthouse. And next to the lighthouse, there was a little beach area that you could go out to. Next on our agenda was going to Newport State Park to hike the Europe Bay Woods path. This was really nice to just kind of get away from everyone. We are a big hiking family, so of course we're gonna find a little hike for us to do. This was the day our family friends were coming in, so we quickly ran to the Piggly Wiggly to grab some things, and we missed the Go Parade, you guys. All right, day three, are we surprised we're back at Skipstone? No, we decided to check out the little loft area on top and my mom got a matcha. I got their cherry white mocha with oat milk. And of course I'm checking out the library. Guys, are we surprised? No, we're not. It was the cutest little area. They had this awesome like book sale going on, $2 for hardcovers, $1 for paperbacks. Are you kidding me? And of course I found the romance section, of course. I ended up didn't not get any books because I do not need any more. We ate a little pre-hike snack of this scary looking fish and we're on our way to Eagle Trail. This was about a 2.7 mile loop, I believe. And for the first half of it, you're kind of walking along the coast and there are a bunch of different lookout areas for you to go on to the rock beach it was so cool. We saw lots of cool rock formations, got to enjoy some wildlife and it was just so nice to kind of chill out. This is probably the most strenuous part of the hike. You either go up, as you can see, or down below the trees. So definitely make sure you are careful here. You do not want to get hurt. Have you 
We decided to check out some of the overlooks nearby and one of them was on Sven's Bluff and there's this little island lookout which is so pretty and it was such a beautiful day. The sky was just so clear. For dinner we went to Stabber's which was associated with Elle Johnson's. We got their Swedish meatballs and shrimp sandwich was so good. And I got this cute little drink. All I know is it's lemonade, vodka, and Swedish fish. So for sunset, we wanted to go to Gill's Rock. This was a nice little secluded area and it was so peaceful. There were quite a few bugs, but the views were great. Okay, you guys, this might have been one of the highlights of the trip. We went out to Newport State Park to a registered dark sky zone. This is one of two in the Midwest and essentially you're not allowed to use like any type of light at night unless it's red lights. So like no flashlights, no phones, nothing like that. So you can really get a really great view of the sky and there's like no towns around to contribute any light pollution. I tested out my little new camera and we got some cool time lapses. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. Did you guys see the Northern Lights? Let's watch it one more time for those. And for our final day, are you surprised we're here? No, we got the whole gang to show up to Skip Stone. We decided to have a chill morning, watch the goats that were finally out on top of Elf Johnson's roof. They're so cute. Call for that. Ah! <laughs> or as you said, goat. And as we were driving out, we went to Bailey's Harbor Fish Company to grab some smoked white fish. And we actually stopped by the farmer's market as well because they had white fish dip and goat cheese and regular. Thanks for watching guys. This was such a fun weekend. It was so fun to go with family and friends. And as you can see, I gotta clean up everything and go to work tomorrow. So I'm not gonna hold on to you guys for too long, but I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a like. Helps me a lot. If you like hanging around, hit that subscribe button and then make sure to turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any videos from yours truly. And then comment below if you've also been to Gwydor County, if you have any favorites. We stayed in Sister Bay. There's so many towns up there, so love to hear it. Kind of what your experience was or if you have any questions. Last thing I'll note, I got this little bug bite right here. Do you see this? But like this is a really inconvenient spot to get a bug bite in. I'm just waiting for webs to start coming out of it all right thanks for watching guys have a good day stay safe have fun travel <laughs>